What's going on guys, this is Nancy's video. Today I'm going to be doing another not top 5 this time, a top 10. Yes, I um, I actually wasn't lazy this time and made a top 10. Today is the top 10 worst shiny Pokemon from Gen 1. Yes, the Pokemon you see on the screen right now is not Gen 1, it is Gen 2. But still, <laughs> just a fun quick meme to start it off. Um... Yeah, so I got a whole list right here next to me um, of uh, top 10 worst shiny Pokemon. They're all Gen 1, and yeah, I'm sure a lot of these you'll probably disagree with me on. But hey, this is a video just for fun, not serious or anything. Um, yeah, so here it is, guys, and I hope you enjoy. So yeah, for my top 1, my top 10, my um, number 1 on the list is shiny Venusaur. Now if you're under now if you're wondering why sh I picked shiny Venusaur is because shiny Venusaur um looks too much like um the shiny grass I don't know, the evolved form of bay leaf shiny evolved form of bay leaf I forget his name it's the fully evolved form of Chikorita the full it's practically the other Venusaur yeah, he looks way too much like him. He's got the same exact color, same exact color for like the flowers and stuff. He looks way too much like him. Bulbasaur and um, Bulbasaur and uh, Ivysaur, they kind of look like him too. But I think Venusaur, um, Venusaur showed the much the most similarities, especially for being the final stage. Um, he showed too much similarities with them. So Bulbasaur and Ivysaur could not be included in this. So yeah, this is why I chose um Venusaur. He looks way too much like him. Um you got the same color, same stuff, and yeah, let's move on to number two. For number two I chose Shiny Charmander and Shiny Charmeleon. The reason I chose these two is because they don't look like anything common at all with um Shiny Charizard. Shiny Charizard's all black and red and stuff. He, he looks like he looks like a pretty cool dude. But then you look at um Charmander and Charmeleon. They have like this kind of golden thing going on. It doesn't really match up with the uh um shiny Charizard. And like I gotta admit the cool the golden like charm like the golden Charmeleon and Charmander that looks pretty cool and all but Shiny Charizard looks a lot better so I had to choose whether Shiny Charizard looks bad or just Shiny Charmander and Charmeleon. Um, but Shiny Charizard, he looks the best, so I chose Char Charmeleon and, Char and Charmander because they look nothing in common at all with. Because if I show you. Does he look like. Does he look like these guys? That's what I thought. Um, that is what I thought, so. Yeah, that's why I chose number uh that's why I chose them for number two now number th now here is number three for number three I chose Pikachu now the reason I chose Pikachu is because he looks cool and all but still he practically if you look at it enough he practically just looks like a darker version of Pikachu there really is not much difference um not even the gender with the heart tail and the normal tail there is no difference it is just um all it is is just um one it's just a darker shade of yellow which um is not that much of a change actually you could like most people it's hard to draw and color shinies but literally if you just drew a pikachu any gender and just colored him in with like a, a darker yellow you could easily get him um so i don't think the shiny pikachu really fit for it because like I think it'd be cooler if like he was orange or something like that. Kind of like the like make him look like Raichu. The Raichu's red. So it'd be cool to make him look like the Raichu. But because I I just I just don't think like a darker yellow like really fits. Like really Niantic, really. And that's why he's number 3. Number 4 is this. Now get a good look at this Nido Queen. He's blue and stuff, right? The shiny version underneath of it. But Nido Queen is not number four. 
believe it or not, Nido King is. Because look at Nido Queen really fast. Look at him. Look at Nido. Look at her. Look at Nido Queen really fast. Just look at her. And then you should very easily see why I chose Nido Queen. Because Nido King. Because Nido King is blue. Exactly like Nido Queen. Nido Queen is blue. And Nido King is blue. Now, Shiny Nidoran and Nidorino. They look fine, but. Shiny Nidoking, King, he just looks blue. There, that's all it is. He, he's just blue. Um, he's exactly like Nido Queen. And being a queen, king and queen, and they can't even breed. Being a king and queen, um, it usually, especially different genders, they would look different. They, they look different. But no, Nido King is literally his shiny version is blue. It shows too much similarities with Nido Queen, because Nido Queen's blue. And just really, that that's you can clearly see why I chose him for number four. Now here is number five. Now for number uh five, I think. Hold on, Nido Queen. Yeah, number f Nido King. For number five, I chose Diglett. Now you can clearly see why I chose Diglett. Just look at them. Look at the normal Diglett. Look at the shiny Diglett. Yeah, all his noses is blue. Now actually, if you look hard enough. You can actually see they have a different shade of brown, but it still doesn't make much of a difference. He's a different shade of brown and just has a blue nose, which is very dumb for me. And the worst part is that is the same exact thing with Doug Trio. Um, Doug Trio literally has no change either, which also makes it even worse because Doug Trio is kind of just a he. <sighs> Doug Trio should also make it for a top 10 worst Pokemon because he's literally just three Diglets stuck together. Um, literally, his different shade of brown and blue nose. That sucks. Like, come on, Niantic. At least make him, like, make his nose, like, yellow and make his, like, I don't know, make him orange and yellow. I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, you can clearly see why. As soon as I showed you this, you should probably see why Um, he is for my top. He is in my top 10 as number 5. And as number six, we have this. For number five, I... Wait, no, number... Wait, which one is it? Number six, I chose Persian. Now, Persian is number six, because if you look at him, there's not much... Dip, it's it's practically the same exact thing as Diglett. His his ear is... um His ear shading is different, and his he's more white in the shiny form. In fact, people are actually still trying to confirm if Giovanni from the anime, if Giovanni's person is a shiny or not. Because people don't know, they look so similar. Like when you're playing a game and you see, you encounter a shiny Persian and all of a sudden you see sparkles around the Persian, people have actually reported for be, the game being a glitch for thinking that a normal Persian was being called a shiny. People actually thought that. So yeah, Niantic, just like Diglett, you screwed up. Um, literally, um, you can, you can kind of see Meowth. Meowth is fine. He, he's fine. He's he's just Meowth. He he's just Meowth. But Persian is just, it just kind of makes me mad actually because it's not really right. I mean, he's just kind of a different. His ears are pink instead of white. And he's a lot more whiter than the other version. And that's why I chose him for number six. And for number seven, we have this. In number seven, we have Primeape. Primeape makes this list because it's kinda like it's kinda like Venusaur. Well not actually Venusaur. It's it's kinda like Charmander, Charmeleon, and the next one. Um you have to see what the next one is. It's kinda like that. Um because look at look at a uh, ma shiny Mankey. Looks cool, right? He looks he looks he's green. That's pretty that's pretty sick. And then when you evolve him though, uh, you kind of go oh. Because then he doesn't really start to look as cool because um one he loses his greenness and his skin color is just a little bit more tan and his arms and legs are just a little bit more green. Um, and that's literally all. 
So yeah, if you ever catch like a shiny Mankey, I prefer, unless you want to fill up the Pokedex or just catch a normal Mankey, I prefer just leaving the shiny as it is. If you don't want to ruin the shiny, or for some odd reason you like shiny pr primate better, I'd recommend just leaving Mankey as he is. Because when you evolve him, he's not that great. So, yeah, that's why he made number 7. And for number 8, we have this. And for number eight, we have Shiny Poliwag and Shiny Poliwhirl. Now, you, can, you can't really see it, but Poliwrath is good. He's green. He looks pretty cool. But it's kind of like Diglett, Persian, and Primate. It barely shows any change. It's just a different shade of blue. Nothing else. Just a different shade of blue. And that's it. That That is entirely just it. It's... it's that's all it is. God, it takes me off. That's that's just all it is. It's just a different shade of blue. Like really, they don't even show. Like they don't even put effort in their shinies. They don't even show anything. All they actually just show is this, which is stupid. And yeah, this is why I chose that for number eight. Now, for number nine, I chose Shiny Gengar and Shiny Haunter. Now, literally, all Gengar has is just a different shade. And all, uh, all Haunter has is a different shade and a different shade of his tongue. That's all. That's all it is. That's literally all. And that's why he's number nine, because, once again, it just takes me off how this happens. And, yeah, that's why I hit it. That's, this was a short one, because you can clearly see. For, no for number ten, the last one, I chose Shiny Aerodactyl. The reason I chose Shiny Aerodactyl is because he's pink! He's pink! Literally! Aerodactyl is like a beast Pokemon! He's a really cool Pokemon! And they made him pink! Now this kind of goes with Shiny Heracross, but except Heracross, like, especially the girl version, except especially the female, is like... It goes pretty well, being a bug type and looking like a bug and stuff, but really, like, this prehistoric pterodactyl thing was turned pink. That's a disappointment. That, like, really? Really? That's sad. That is just plain out sad. Yeah, it's just very, very sad. And yeah, so guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a comment down below. Leave a like, definitely subscribe. These were my top 10 worst shiny Pokemon of all time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a comment down below. Leave a like, definitely subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.